Hey there, this is Tracy McDonald from Hinsdale South, and um, this is the assignment that I had my students do. It's actually um, a test question, part of a test. Um, so if I click here and I go to Speed Grader, Um, as you can see in SpeedGrader, I already um, assigned points to this student's work, but what's missing here are all of the comments that I had given um, her as far as her work goes. Um, and so I was using the little comment maker off to the side. Um, and so if I, I thought, well, why don't I try to download this? And when I do, it's making the file. When I open it, you can see here, uh, this is um, a comment that I made after I, uh, this is a test, like, like I was testing, like even trying not to do a comment, but maybe trying to do a comment in a text box. And so I had typed, this is a test, in a text box on her paper, and then I advanced to the next student's paper and I came back and it was gone, but you can see that it shows up when I download this as a PDF. And then here you can see all of the little word bubbles that show that I've got a comment somewhere, but like even if I just like hover over or click, like it's not... Um, it, like for this student, it's, it's not showing. And, you know, here I said draw the feedback loop, you know, meaning like she didn't do that, so she needs to do that. Um, and I've got, yeah, like these word bubbles, they're not even coming up. And in other students, when I hovered over the word bubble, it would show um, at least a portion of the comment that I made. Um, and so if I do this again, um, make a text box and I type in test two, three, four, five. And then if I advance to my next student's test, and again, you know, I've got my grade there and I, I made a whole bunch of comments. Uh, okay, so her comments, all right, her comments are now working. Well, that's great. I just wish I didn't feel so embarrassed about it, but why isn't the other student, why aren't the other students' comments uh, uh, showing up? Um, let's see if the text box that I typed in shows up on hers uh, and it's gone. So this is this, what you're seeing on this screen, this is what was happening when I had emailed you um, earlier in the day. So I've done maybe about 12 of these. Okay, so this uh, this student's comments are showing up. Okay, but none of the none of these were showing up uh, when I had emailed you before, which is why I was in a little bit of um, a panic because I really didn't know what to do. And I have another test like this, like similar to this, like free response that I was going to use for a class that I have tomorrow, but I was just going to change it all um, because if I can't give them comments and scores like this, then um, this isn't a tool that I can use. But um, why that is happening with um, my student Sarah's paper, um, I don't know. So. Um, I would like to check uh, my other class just to make sure um, that they're okay. Their comments are now um, are now working. Let's see if Matt's is coming. Okay, his his is working too. Okay, these were not working earlier, uh, and so I will go ahead and send you this video just you know in case this is happening to somebody else. Um, but thank you very much for getting back to me, and I guess I'll just um, retype uh, Sarah's comments, and um, let's just see, I just want to see like what's happening when I export his, because um, I know that when I had checked another student, uh, 
another student, Fiona's work, I was able to hover over the, um, I was able to hover over those little word bubbles. Yeah. And then, uh, some of, some, like part of the comment, uh, comes in. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. So that was happening. So anyway, I guess it's maybe just a problem at the moment with this student's test and I can figure out a workaround for her. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you what I was, what I was seeing. So I appreciate your time and I'm also appreciative that this is now working and I don't have to change my test for my class tomorrow. <laughs> All right. If you need anything else, any more information from me, please let me know. And I thank you very much.